at some time I want to quickly find the size of certain items and what I usually do is draw a dimension and see okay this room have uh, a size of five feet six but I have to do this for uh, many different objects did you know that you could use the options dialog box and go to the to the display tab and there is an option over here that says show rollover tooltips once we check that and hit ok what's gonna happen is that we don't need anymore to use the dimension to find sizes of objects you could simply now hover over an item and boom the length of your lines or polylines will shown as you are seeing it right now isn't that great guys and so not only that but you could also hover on close polylines and you will immediately see the area as you are seeing it in your screen and we can change some of the properties that we want to see on this rollover tooltip right if we go to the cui to open the customize user interface we go under the rollover tooltips right here we will have uh, the options for all of the items that we need let's say for instance the line command i only want to show the length to simplify my life right i only want the information that i need so then i can uncheck the rest and once I hit apply and okay, what's gonna happen is that when we hover on an, on an item like this line, I will only see the length, right? Welcome again to another lazy show where we teach you AutoCAD in a way that it's more productive so you can stop wasting your time. So sometimes happen that when we are in a hurry, we want to see a preview of our work right how will this plan will look when printing right and we could of course physically print it waste some paper and do all kind of things but do you know that you could use the options dialog box and go under display and colors and over here change the uniform background color to white that will emulate a printing preview of your layout and once you do that and also change the layout page setup by right clicking on it and going to the page setup and modify it by checking the displayed plot styles do you know that you could immediately set your layout as a print preview this is so helpful guys because this means that we could preview any work that we have on model space and in paper space it will look the way it will print right so sometimes happen that when working on a drawing we want to copy a block like this and place it exactly on a location in this case of a ACT or acoustic ceiling tile but we can't we cannot do it accurately and precisely even though our object snaps are all on we cannot do that so the reason of course why we cannot do this is because this is a hatch right did you know that we could use the options dialog box to go under the drafting tab and uncheck the ignore hatch objects so once we do that and try to copy an object again like for instance this lighting right over here we could go ahead and start snapping to our hatch like so sometimes when working in your drawing you might need a scale so 
we get inside our viewport by double clicking on it sometimes we might need a drawing scale or viewport scale that is not available to us so we might go ahead and create our our scale right by adding it and you know calculate all of those numbers and so on but do you know that you could use the options dialog box to go under the user preferences tab and go under the default scale list option to go ahead and add here or edit or remove all of these scales or drawing scales that you need so once you have that you could use custom options under here on the drawing scales to reset your drawing scales for instance imperial that's my units and insert or reset all of your drawing scales like so do you know that so sometimes happen that when we are working in autocad the program might crash on you and you might lose most of your settings do you know that you could use the options dialog box and under the profile tab create a new profile by clicking add to the list and of course rename your profile lazy architecture apply and close and set that current and of course hit ok to avoid this problem of losing your drafting settings in AutoCAD and not only that but this will also help you whenever you have a weird problem in AutoCAD such as AutoCAD not behaving the way it should be you might use the options dialog box to reset some of these settings by using the default profile that AutoCAD started with and if you set that current of course and hit apply and ok some of the settings uh, might be restored and this way your AutoCAD will start working as expected tips and tricks can make life easier but being part of a community can take it to the next level subscribe now and let's connect this sunday for our live stream